spam, 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 spam. We must spam. Alright guys, you know the drill. It is sp <coughs> spam in time. I am trying something different today, so yes, you don't see it. Um, I'm trying to suffocate myself. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I am working oh so um, oh so trying to build up my lungs right now and uh, try to keep off air, but if it becomes too much or I can't talk, it gets hard for me to breathe. <laughs> Um, as you can already hear, it's starting to get bad. Um, I will go get my tank. It's right behind me. I'm okay. Um. Okay, so I got two people watching me. Hi, sorry, I'm spamming. Um, spam, 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 spam. Um, if you guys have never seen um, uh, Mighty Python and the Holy Grail, uh, I would suggest going out and watching that because spam, 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 spam. One, uh, one, two, three colors, what I'm seeing. Sorry, I'm doing a quote for somebody that poking me um, as we spam any spam. Uh, so I see one, two, One, two, three, four color. Would be red, purple, and brown. Okay, so while we're doing that, we're, I'm multitasking like heck right now. I'll give you guys an update what's going on here. Of all the fun spammy spam, 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 spam. Did I lose it? Did it disappear? Nope, it's right here. Spam, spammy, spam, 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 spam. Okay, so we got enough spam. Okay, so a couple things that I want to go over. Um,
Uh, where was I? So, couple things going on in life right now. Number one, I got a brand new job, um, which has me on a little bit of a different schedule now. Uh, this job is interesting at best. Um, I won't say where it is. I am really enjoying it, but it is my first two weeks there. Um, so with good things always come bad things. So I'm waiting and preparing myself for the bad things. On a flip side of that, I'm having a lot of fun with the job. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, which has me on a later schedule. I normally am in afternoon and I come home late evening. And that really kind of messes up the fursuit schedule. But we're going to work with it. We're going we're gonna to try a new schedule of how to redo everything and get it, get it going. Um, speaking about getting, getting, getting going. Let's see how I can talk. And everybody walk. Why isn't it working? Oh, close. I swear I know how to use Facebook. So, um, um, so, like I said, the new job has me working a little bit of different hours, kind of trying to get my life back together with the whole hospital trip and stuff like that it's been an interesting go um so far i'm feeling much better i'm very happy i love life um but that's kind of where i'm at as for inventory in house we've talked about this before um we even did a live stream of it um but we have our german shepherd head where the heck did that go right well it's still sitting on the shelf waiting for eyeballs I ordered eyeballs back in March, and the eyeballs never came in. I uh, kept giving the manufacturer, or whatever you want to call their name, a... Um, I, I, I gave them the opportunity to try again, try again, and I finally said forget it fuzz it just give me my money back and that's where we ended there i then got a hold of a new maker for new eyes and that person has shipped those eyes to me today uh -huh. so we got to work on that dog we got to work on the circle which is right here right here above my head we got to work on that i have a dutch angel and a commission job all sitting on the table still oh actually scratch that two commission jobs um i got two commission jobs sitting on the table why are we trying for a one day challenge now now we're getting into what are we doing the reason why i'm doing one day challenge instead of starting on my next uh head is because my next head i don't have a lot of practice in so i want to make sure to give it 
my full attention. In order to give it my full attention, one, I need to make sure my schedule is coherent where I'm going to, you know, say, hey, from this time to this time, every single night, I'm going to work on it. That's going to keep my focus in the project. Number two, Anthrocon is right around the corner. Anthrocon is like my big vacation. Woo, Anthrocon. Um, I'm super excited. I'm going to try to do some filming line there um, to show you guys the level of my excitement. Um, kind of make a blog or I don't know, it's just one of those thingies. Um, and, and show you guys the level of my excitement. Um, I haven't been out for a very long time, so yay. Um, so, but right now, we literally have no stock for pre-mades whatsoever. And that's what I pride myself on is having some pre-mades sitting around the house saying, hey, come by me. So with that said, we got a few, few options on the table. We got our circle, which let me go ahead and grab it. As everybody has seen, this is a circle. Uh, where's my head here? So the circle is an opening mouth. It's uh, big enough for a bottle of water to go in. So, yay. Um, but it's all taped up, ready to go. Cut it up, call it done, just like my wash. Um, that's ready to go. So I want to kill this head today. Um, in order to do that, we gotta put about 10 hours into this head and my challenge today Normally, we just do a two-hour stream, and we call it good. Yet again, will my body hold up? Will everything work out? We're going to have to play that by ear. But I'm not going to stress my body out too much by doing this. So the next up, we have the German Shepherd. The ears I have not opened. Oh, they're over there on the floor. Uh, the ears I decided to scrap, redo, and um, put on. I love this head. Um, the eyes are coming in. We'll get those in. And literally, I just got to add a neck. So that's how far we are with that. Oh, and a tongue. Forgot the tongue. Um, and then after Anthrocon, I want to come back and I want to start working on my commissions. I have two commissions. One's a Dutch Angel and one's... A cat. Um, I've done Dutches before. I'm going to be doing another Dutch, which um, which if you are um, every time I turn around it says I have a notification. I don't know. Um, is I got this really, really gorgeous fur in. And I think this would look amazing on a Dutch Angel. Um, we're going to have to play with it a little bit. Kind of test, test around. But this is the fur that I'm going to put on it. And I'm going to match it with some white ears which looking amazing. So that's kind of on the agenda. Um, honestly, I might even make the ears on this out of that. I, I don't know. We got to see where we're going. But with, with further ado, um, Oh, uh, with further ado, we're going to get started because I'm tired already. Ah, and I'm already getting fur in my mouth. What is up with that? So, um, I want to get this circle uh, rocking, rocking like there's no other. Um, I've been waiting on doing this for quite a, quite a bit. Um, I won't say I have a lot invested in it. Um, well, of course, I have a lot invested in it. But it's not like I have to worry about panicking or getting this done. That's why I like doing pre-mades a lot is I don't have to worry 
um, I don't have to worry that much about um, time deadlines and where am I and what am I doing and blah, blah, blah. Um, I like doing pre-mades because it's my own creativity time. I don't have to worry about the, you know, the, the drama of an actual full-on commission. Um, I do get asked a lot, you know, why, why are your pre-mades more than your customs? And the reason why it's, it's a very simple reason for me is I have to pick out of my own pocket, um, without cutting my spell. Um, I have to take out of my own pocket and uh, basically bankroll all these heads that I'm trying to do um, as a pre-build. And um, I normally start the price high and then over time I'll slowly lower the price trying to move it, special sales, events, stuff like that. There's no strap. I thought I put a strap on this thing already. Anywho. Um, but it, like I was saying, um, is um, I always start my price a little high. It's first thing on the shelf. Everybody's like, oh, it's great. And then it, they'll sit there and they'll wait for the price to lower. Sometimes I do lower it. Sometimes I don't. There's special deals, special prices. And we'll go from there. Right now, I got a bunny on sale for $250. When I normally do them for $450. Why is it, you know, $200 off? What's wrong with it? Nothing's wrong with it. I'm just working on moving product. That's all I'm doing. So, with that said, getting the experience, getting the practice is another big thing for me. So, we need to do some work to this. Um, one thing that I want to do with the circle head is, um, I'm actually gonna, there we go. I'm gonna order a pre-made jaw for this one this time around. So the circle will be a little bit more. I want to try out their new pre-made jaws, um, that they're doing, uh, which is fuzz butt fursuits, by the way, is who I order my bases through. Um, but, uh. I, I want to try that out, um, if that makes sense. I want to be able to um, see how their pre-made jaws go, um, how do they fit, you know, add all, add all the you know crazy numbers to it. And then, unfortunately, the cost has to go somewhere, and um, it's going to go in the cost of the head. But, circle, it's ready. Somebody's already poking me, I hear it. Pokey pokey. Oh, hey, another person poking me. Uh, yeah, still same thing. Inner ear and then the dots. Yeah. Looks very to me face a lot. If you're interested in So, um, with that said, I, as you can see, this is what I do anytime I'm in the studio. Um, got to find out where the camera's pointing. Um, I got to find out um, where you know what I'm doing in the studio. I have my chats open. I have live chat open, by the way. So come visit, come visit, say hi in live chat. I love live chat. Um, but yeah, come say come say hi. We're gonna be streaming. Um, we're gonna start working on this bad boy. I'm gonna get the pencil of doom. Okay, it's pen, it's a marker. Um, we're gonna get some straps going here. Get this head uh, whipped together like no other brother. And 
I will probably have to take one break or two. I'm, I'm gonna say we're gonna take two breaks. Um, and the reason why I want uh, a couple breaks is I need to work on the wash um, at the same time as I'm talking to you guys um, and working on this. And then I also want to um, wait for the post office guy. Uh, he's supposed to be here with my other Dutch angel. Fun, fun Dutchies. I told myself when I made my first Dutchie, I'm never, ever, ever going to make another Dutchie. I swore up and down. I'm like, this is, this is ridiculous. You know, and then within a week it sold. What? <laughs> Apparently it's popular. And since I've already worked on them once and at least know the rule book on them now, I, I feel pretty confident in making some more. So, I got another one. And that's the other one we're gonna work on. So we're gonna we're gonna probably work on a lot of random stuff today. Um, like I want to work on this. I want to get this done. Um, how far are we gonna make it? I don't know. Um, when the duchy comes in, maybe we'll tape up the duchy. Who knows? I don't think it should be long for you to pay for it. But other than that. So, um, yeah, so straps, I keep saying straps <laughs> and I'm not getting them because I'm being lazy. Strappy straps, strappy straps. Okay. So yet again, <sighs> My tank is over there. Yeah. Let's try this again. You guys are going to make a blooper reel. Um, all right. So I got some straps. Basically, it is um, elastic strapping. And how I like to do this is I like to um, uh, do the lower jaw set and with a middle line. So when you... Uh, when you get it on, you put it over your head and the straps hold you in place. Um, then the back fluff goes over your neck and you're all good there. Um, so let's measure out some stuff. We'll get the sewing machine going, which is like right by my foot, so it's not that big a deal. Oh, yeah, that's right, the wash. Okay, so, um, evil tank. You know what? Let's do this first. All right. So first thing, first thing, like we always do, um, we're going to, we're going to turn on some music because, you know, got to jam out. Um... So the straps right there. I need paper towels. Paper towels. Why do I need paper towels? Because I do. Okay. So let's get a few things here. Grab my tank of goodies. Grab my tank of goodies. Throw it over my shoulder. Same place. 
place I keep everything else. And it's in Piptella. Jeez, is that another one? Okay, it might be a fursuit challenge day, but I swear it might be commission day. Who knows? Gotta look for my examples because I don't have a website yet. And then I got this person. I have a circle and a Dutch. Angel that I am currently working on building. Okay, so. Paper towels. Okay. So, yeah, this is crazy. Um, I've, I've been on Facebook the last two days, and I haven't had anybody message me at all about um, commissions or doing commission jobs um, or even pre-mates. And uh, lo and behold, I get uh, four in one day, which is amazing. Oh, okay. Like I said, four four is amazing. Um, that's that's just breathtaking. Okay, so um, what we got to do is I got some art on here. I want to put a big old scar across the circle's face, um, which I think was going to look pretty freaking epic. Um, but we're, we're going to have to break down the face now so we can cut it, sew it, stuff like that. Bigger, bigger the cuts, less we have to sew, faster it goes. So with that said... We're going to do a bridge between the ears, around the ears, lower eye.
out of the jaw. Do I have my bottle? Yes, I do. Here's a bottle. Bottle, 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 bottle. Okay. One, one trick I've learned when doing this, if you take a bottle, shove it in its mouth, um, that gives you your, um, your mouth opening, so you can make your smiles, your stuff like that. I just recently learned all this, um, which is kind of funny. Uh, but overall, I think it's cool. Right. Nose. And all, if you've watched all my streams, you've seen all my stuff, you're uh, a wonderful Patreon, which I don't have, um, then uh, I'll, uh, hold on real quick. If you're, if you're one of those wonderful people that have watched me and preach, you, you know, I sit here and preach about it. Um, if, if I sit here and preach about it, um, is fur direction, fur direction, fur direction, fur direction. You've got to make sure you have that fur direction going the right direction or you're going to get into a lot of trouble later on in the build. Um, where is this? Okay. So yet again, you, you'll, you gotta, you gotta kind of, get that fur direction right the first time around where did my marker just go there it is um i swear i haven't lost my mind yet yet um how do i want to do this left here So, um, as I'm sitting here labeling, slowly labeling, um, I'm, I'm looking for imperfections in my tape job, um, uh, because it has been sitting here for a while, duct taped, and if you've left anything in the house duct taped, um, over time it will start to come apart, especially if you're using really cheap duct tape. Walmart, um, I'm sorry, did I say that out loud again? Um, but if you're using really cheap duct tape, it's something to expect. Um, So yet again, I'm sitting here and just labeling, making sure I get my fur directions, labeling my cut points. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but, uh, Um, right under I E Y E E E Y is how I spell I today, ladies and gentlemen. That is my spelling expertise. Okay, so this is right 
Spear. Right jaw. Between back between back, I have no idea what you're trying to ask me. Um, and then we're gonna do the ears, make this real simple. Okay, so there's all that going on. Let me read this. that okay so inside the ears So, next step, we're going to remove all the tape, tape off on paper towels, get it all set up, and then we'll do our webbing, and once we do our webbing, then we will get on to fur. Fur, I need to go get my bag. So I always typically keep a nice big trash bag um, full of all my wonderful goodies from um, builds and stuff like that. Uh, so I go with that. And here is our beautiful black fabric. A very shiny, very beautiful, and a pain in the butt to cut. Cause it like, literally, it looks like I shaved a cat all over my living room. It is the funniest fur I have worked with ever. So um, that's fur, fur on the floor. 
for good. Okay. Hi, three people. I see you watching me. Or possibly just a suit or partial. Uh... Guys, remember, chat is open. So if you are like, watch me and you're like, hey, you're getting boring, say something. For the next 20 minutes, I'm going to sit here and drink my soda, staring at you. I'm just teasing. So, removal of duct tape. We've done this so many times, or at least I have. Um, if I'm not saying much, or if you want me to explain the process, say something. Say something in chat. Say something on Facebook. Say something on Telegram. I'm listening. Please ask. I'm more than happy to show you. None of my, none of my stuff I do is top secret. Um, a lot of these videos that I do are for you guys learning how to make fursuits because when I set out on this path myself other than trying to stab myself um, when I set out on this path and I learned how to do this I have been doing this by myself trying to learn the process I've had a few coaches along the way no senpais no teachers type of deal um, that's why I'm doing these videos. Not only because I'm bored and I get to talk to myself a lot, but you guys get to listen now. <laughs> Just teasing. Okay. Magic, magic. Hey, it might help if I don't squish my ears. Okay. I didn't need that anyways. Okay. working it is not working Aha! Got it. So, um, I had a really great conversation. And the conversation was, um, is, or at least I, I saw the conversation and I kind of joined in on it. Um, the, the question was, is after you're done building a full suit or something you got this big old duct tape dummy laying around your house and the question was should you send it back with the client should you keep it which is odd um, or do you just discard it and the real answer is what does your client want 
Um, if your client doesn't want you to discard it, then they'll probably have you send it back, um, which should already be in your estimate for prices when you do prices, by the way. Um, there we go. Um, should already be in your estimate for prices and guidelines and stuff like that. Um, don't. I just ripped off my nose. This is why you gotta layer your duct tape. So when you pull it off, you're not like ripping it. At least it was a clean break. Okay. Easy peasy, easy peasy. So, um, Mosquito! Okay. So. Got that done. How am I gonna split the nose? Good. long strip so I'm gonna split it in half um, easy easy sew job type of deal um, but I want to split it in half um, so I can get it off to this head Bottle is kind of interfering with me here right now. And this is lower. We're going to have to label these as we go.
So this is just literally what we're doing right now is throwing water bottles on the floor apparently. Um, and we're just slowly peeling this off one piece at a time. That I'm having just so many issues right now. with this jawline today. Oh, that, that, that could have been travesty. Okay. When you're slowly removing all the duct tape, do it slow. I know that sounds silly, but do it slow so you don't take out your finger or you slip and your razor blade goes through your eyeballs. Um, not your eyeballs, the fursuit eyeballs, you know what I mean. Um, That way you can just make sure everything's good and comes off like it's supposed to. There it goes. Ow. Another song I'm addicted to listening to for some silly reason. Alright, open up. Nothing hanging over to big like the other one? Okay. Aha! Okay. We will have to address this. task. It's twice, twice I've dropped this.
Okay. Okay, multitasking like crazy today. Stay. Thank you. 
Anywho. Sorry, guys. I get sidetracked very easily. Ow. doing the ears today. Ow.
Steam's link is right here on screen or in the description below. It's also available on Google Play and Bandcamp. And if you want a physical copy, follow the link in the description below to getty.com slash macwaterbideogames. Find the CD case with an exclusive remix by DJ Cutman, a free poster, and even a few more surprises. Note that these CDs won't ship until mid-January, and they'll also have a final release soon, as well as some other services in which you can buy the album digitally. But be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more updates. Very special thank you to our lovely animators, Greg Zilla, Steve Rayfro, Jaxi, and Pop from the Fuzzy for their endless hours of dedication. Our studio engineer, Robbie, is a pro, so give him a round of applause at DJ Cutman for his amazing master of skills. You can check out his channel right here. We hope you enjoy our overwhelming bright hunt, the Big Bad Box. And there's three people again. Hi, three people. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. You should say hi in chat so I know who's there. I'm going to start calling you guys stalkers. Stalkers. So, paper towels are done, so we'll put our roll away. Alright, so now we got all the pieces for this head that we're going to have to cut out. Before I do that, I'm going to clean something. Oi! Scare me, phone. No, I, I didn't say do it twice. Okay. More emails. Hey! There's people talking to me. Are you making a circle? I am making a circle. And hello, and thanks for coming. I appreciate it. DMT? Uh, no. The answer's no. I don't know. I don't know what you're asking. No, thanks for coming to the stream. I'm just sitting back having fun and making fursuits. Thanks for coming though. I appreciate it. Quick shout out to uh, Dorgy Does, right? Did I, get, did I get your website right? Oh, and there's the door. Ding dong. It has arrived! Oh! 
Okay. See, I told you guys the post office was coming. About to take a nap, and I'm going to keep watching until I do so. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, go check out uh, Dorgy Does, it, uh, if I'm saying it right. Sarah, fix it. Fix it. Dorgy Does. I, I want to swear it's Dorgy Does. Where's my groups? Yeah, Dorgy does. Found it. No, it's not tennis balls today. That was last week. And uh, uh, no, it's a new Dutch angel. It's it's another one. It's like three heads in my house. <laughs> I, I have heads everywhere. But yeah, go check out Dorgy does. Uh, uh, She's an awesome maker. Uh, definitely uh, uh, some jealousy uh, because how awesome she is at her uh, wonderful fursuit work. And one day I will catch up to her. <laughs> but yeah, go check out Dorgy Does. Say hi to her. There's your shout out. Hi. Oh, where did my music go? The answer is no. Maybe. I don't care. Random person. Oh my god, we got random person. I uh, we we win this we win this stream already, guys. Stream's over. Random person just showed up. Yes, I I, I want to stay busy. It it keeps my brain occupied plus more practice I can get the better I will become see it's so much fun when I have people chatting with me in my live chat as long as they behave and uh uh okay when random when random comes back I'll, I'll tell him my time limit i probably honestly will not get this done in one night but you know what i, I got a pretty good head start on it and you know it's not about how quick you can pump them out it's about the quality you're you're getting too um, because you don't want to, you don't want to rush something to put crap into it. Um, behave? Why? Oh, that's right. Never mind. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. No wonder I messed this up. Head start. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got the dad jokes in this channel. Now, quick shout out real quick, you know, because I, I don't want people getting the wrong opinions and I don't want Gizmo coming after me and beating me up later. Um, none of the bases that I get 
Um, these wonderful bases, none of these are my personal bases. These are just what I use when I build. They're from fuzzbuttfursuits.com. No, they don't pay me to, because uh, you're a dad. Yes, I am. Um, they don't pay me to give them a shout out or anything. I really, really love their product. Um, I'm not a Dutch angel. Um, but uh, I, I really like their product. Um, I like using their bases. They're all moving jaws. Um, I, I really cannot say anything bad about their stuff other than getting stabbed in the ear from time to time from a screw. Um, flip them around. Um, but overall, I really, really love their product. I use it all the time, which I just got another box in the mail. Um, feel like, uh, you know, Blue's Clues uh, uh, mail time when somebody, you know, knocks at my door. Wow, we're getting up there. We got four people watching me right now. This is insane. It must be the music. So basically what I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm carving out the templates to um, get all the furring done um this one here when i did uh when i when i snipped here i forgot there's a whole another side to this uh wonderful thing i call creation um so we're gonna we're gonna have to play with that a little bit um so yeah i want a lava fox for my birthday okay send me a reference i'll price it out for you um but uh, random, uh, real quick to answer you back, I uh, I built my bunny, uh, my Nico bunny, then less than it was about ten hours that I built the Nico, um, which is uh, really awesome. Um, but it, it shows that if you have dedication and you're pushing yourself, you can turn out really good stuff. Now, granted, I put Nico on a shelf after I was done. And I'd stared at it for about four or five days to see what else I wanted to add to it. So, was it done? Was it not? Uh, eh, tomato to model. So, uh, yeah, they don't. They don't pay me to give them a shout out. When I see people online looking for bases instead of. Uh, um, bases instead of actual like fursuits, you know, I, I always recommend them. Gizmo always gives me flack for it too. It's kind of funny. You know, another thing is, is every time I sit down in this stupid chair, I sit on my foot. Is it helping my foot? No, my foot is falling asleep. But I always sit on my foot for some stupid reason. And I haven't moved it yet either. Ah, oh, there we go. It's always it's always the left foot. Every time I sit down, I sit with the left foot underneath my leg. Drives me nuts. Don't know why I do it, but I do it.
Oh, and by the way, um, Sarah, you better be at PDFC. I want another big hug. Uh, I saw a bunny in the back. Oh, that's really awesome, Rando. Congrats for your dad. He he gets cool points. Okay. Now, now that we're talking about respect for wildlife, right? I used to work at a job that I worked in a maintenance department. And I got this phone call from the boss. And he says, hey, I need you to go over to so-and-so's so -and -so's house. They got a skunk on the roof. I'm like, you're kidding me, right? You want me to get a skunk off somebody's roof? That's just dumb. And I get over to the house, and sure enough, there's a baby skunk on this person's roof. And luckily for me, it was dead already. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was such a awkward moment when you're staring at the skunk, and it's like, is it alive? Is it dead? Is it moving? Is it going to come after me? Am I going to have to have a tomato bath? I think it's tomato, right? Oh. All right, so, I don't know about you guys, but uh, all that stuff is done. So, this is, this is a circle head now. Yeah, an eagle got to it. It wasn't like, you know. It wasn't, it wasn't like I did it or anything. It, it's, it's sad when you're staring at it. It's very sad. But at the same time, I, I would have had a really, really, really bad time if it was alive. I can laugh about this. I, I don't know why, maybe just my sick sense of humor, but I can laugh about this. This, this is, uh... That was a scary run-in. How many fursuits does everybody have? Um, if you count how many's in my house right now... Five? And three more to come. <laughs> and the sad thing is, I'm sold out! Other than, other than this bad boy right here, I'm literally sold out. I Oh my god, five people watching me. Panic. Panic, panic, panic. I already answered that. Wow. Oh. Wow. Um, anywho, so now it's time to get strapping. Stop poking me. Just tease him. I have finished four I have four finished ones and one foam base. Ooh, foam base. Okay. For all you makers out there sitting in my channel that think you're awesome, because you all are, 
Um, how many, um, if you've built or if you've played with 3D printed foam bases or resin, which one do you think is better to work with and nicer to wear? So it's a two-part question. What is the best stuff to work with versus the nicest thing to wear? So, anyways, let's get let's get the strappy straps going. Now, how I like to do these straps is I like leaving a little bit of a tail on them. And the reason why I like leaving a little bit of a tail on these um, is because um, I like to leave them adjustable. Um, you want to take these off if you're using a 3D printed head. You want to take these off and relieve the stress on your, on your head um, around heat. And I, I agree with Sarah there. Um, uh, 3D printed heads are awesome. Uh, love them. Ventilation, great. As for the comfort 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 side, let's try this again today. As for the comfort side, I, I prefer a foam head. Um, but you don't get a lot of corks and kicks and foam heads have this. There, there's too many tomato tomatoes, uh, pros and cons versus every single head out there. It I guess it's you know the user's choice. But 3D heads are awesome to work with. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So, um, I like leaving these adjustable. Uh, one, so you can take off the tension. And two, um, if you have a much smaller head or a much larger head, you can also adjust that. It's called pre-mades. You gotta, <laughs> you're, you gotta have a good head on your shoulders. I went there. You're drawing your persona holding a donut. Yum. Okay. So, snip, snip, snip. Sarah, how do you keep your house clean? All right, so now we need a needle. Easy, you don't. Well, I'll make I'll make a deal with you. You can come clean my house, and then I'll go clean your house. Okay. We'll see. We'll see who gets done first. And the answer is you, because my house isn't that bad. <laughs> Yeah, that's, you know, I clean, I clean my house on Sunday. Every Sunday, I clean my house religiously. And, uh... Uh-oh. Give me my needles. Thank you. Uh, every Sunday, I clean my house religiously. And the reason why I do that is because of kids. Long story short. Um, but it, but I, I make sure my house is clean. Um... So my house, my house always gets cleaned every Sunday, but literally the moment they leave and I go into build mode type of deal, it gets trashed real quick. I don't know why. It might be all the fur laying around. Oh, oh, 
Sarah, 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 Sarah. Look at, look at that fur. Look at that fur, Sarah. Beautiful fur, Dutch angel, white ears. I think that's gonna be awesome. Okay, back to what I was doing. Pink with sprinkles. Your house is pink with sprinkles? I'm sorry. You might want to get that checked. Yeah, I when when I was working on my uh, last client's fur and stuff like that, I, I saw that stuff and I'm like, <gasps> must have. It's not it's not purple. Uh oh, I'm getting warned. I'm getting warned. Slowly. Still waiting. There's somebody in the Arizona community that is literally the worst. The worst what? You should PM me in Facebook. That way I know to be on the lookout. Yeah, I know, I know who that is. But she's not that bad. But anywho, are you talking about that one guy? I think I know which guy you're talking about. It's a female. Okay, I don't know this one, so yeah, definitely, definitely send that my direction. And I'm always positive, regardless. All I know about duchies, other than the rule book that I read, is I accidentally hit telephone in the head. And I feel bad. And I, hopefully one day she'll forgive me. She probably already does. Um, she probably already does forgive me. But, you know, it's... It, I just find it funny. Yeah, at, at PDFC, I uh, knocked her, knocked her pretty good in the head <laughs> behind stage. <laughs> oh, I had I had so much fun at that con. I got to see things that people normally don't get to see. So I was. That was an experience of a lifetime. Two thousand nineteen to two thousand nineteen. She's been around a lot longer than a year. I 
Okay, so let's start tying this off. Wow, come on, thread the needle through the thread. Bam. Okay, so. Where's my camera? My camera's over here somewhere. <laughs> oh jeez well see that's what happens when you take a nap you don't want to peek in my tent um so anyways i got it all laced up ready to go the big trial and error exercise oh it's for a smaller head for sure This is an easy adjustment. Normally, um, they're, they're holes. Like my bunny in, in particular here. Um, I just did the top holes instead of the lower holes, which is not a big deal. Um, give me. Um, There we go. So, anywho, um, I did I did the uppers, but the problem with the uppers is it sits too high on your head. So, this is what I got. Um, there there does have to be a uh, chin stop added to this, um, because it like literally goes down my throat. So I gotta kinda hold it a bit. But this is what I got so far. Oh, pardon me. So, circle, cube, got it. All right. Let me clean up my desk a little bit, because this is driving me nuts. What? I'm a guy. You don't want to peek in my tent. It's probably stink or something. You never know. Plus, I wouldn't ever go camping. That's just a scary thought. Me and my electricity love each other. We have a non, a non separation, um, uh, life. But yeah. Um, anywho. So, uh, where was I? So, how am I doing this? First things first. I want to pull that out. Do I want, do I want the right, uh, the, this is a pre-made. Do I want the inside or the back? I think the back would look cooler. So let's do the back. Um, do inside and back. Do that. Okay. So, yet again, let's have some fun. Um, 
So, we got four pieces here. Let me turn you guys just a little bit. Okay, so we got four pieces here that I'm going to do in, a, in a, that uh, beautiful red. Um, and then we're going to do the rest in black. So, let's start with the easy stuff. <coughs> I wonder I'm having such a hard time here. Okay. So, the question is, where is my for direction? There we are. Did we lose random person? Random person was so cool. Hey, yes, I did. Yes, I did. You, you missed my preach. Your first fursuit is always going to be better because it's number one, your first. You have more emotional attachment towards it. And number two, it's um, like a trophy um, that you try to show off. Where your next suit down the line is like, okay, I could do this. And you get it done and then you're like, eh, I can tweak this, I could tweak that. Then you start experimenting. That's my suggestion. Bam. Okay. Okay, so that's done. That's done. Hockey dokey. Hockey dokey, Mr. Jones. If anybody knows this band, they are awesome. I happened to magically stumble across them and I love their music. I don't know why. I just do. Done. Actually, very good answer. Oh, I don't have anything, so I don't write anything. Do what? I often have difficulty explaining how I feel about something. Wait for someone else to say something. Word. Word. I'm such a mean person, ain't I? Jeez. Now, I, I totally kind of hear how you are, Sarah. Um, it, uh, you, you gotta kind of just go with the flow. Um, especially if you're around a lot of people you don't know and you're just meeting them. Um, you, you, you're waiting for somebody to break the ice. 
it is, I guess, the word I'm trying to say. Go away. Thank you. Yeah, mystery skulls. You, you you got it right on the nose. So that's done. I'm going to have to step away for just a few seconds, guys. So chill with my really bad music. And I'll be right back. I need to switch out laundry. Okay. And guess what? I'm back. Pick out the names which furry OC should I draw? Ash Wolf, King High. Ah. Uh, I'm going to say. Uh, Candy Heart, um, sitting on 
a hammock. You asked, you got it. Okay. Ugh. This thing is a pain in the butt. Okay. So, where were we? So, we were working on this. Uh, how much thread do I got here? Not enough. Um, so, we're working on um, this for... Now, we're going to work on killing the cat. And I say killing the cat because that's how I feel every time I cut this stuff. And it is like darn near impossible to find out which way the pile goes on this. So the pile is going towards me. Okay, hold on. Back of here. Okay. So, file check. So, the one thing I like about working with this stuff is black, white chalk. It just makes sense. Okay, this is the piece that I came across that is like still part of the nose. So we're gonna have to flip this. A little awkward but I'll make it work oh my gosh somebody's messaging me oh Dorgy I got a question Dorgy I hope you haven't fallen asleep uh, uh, right wrong again. No, I did it right. Okay, so, uh, Dorgy, my question to you is uh, the Dutch Angel that I got coming up with that red fur, what would be a good eye to go with that? And blue? Blue just sounds overrated. We'll see. Sure. 
green. Green is another thought. Um, anywho, uh, this would go towards towards the back. Okay. So my question is, with that nice dark red, what eye color, iris color, um, would you think? That that was my question. If you're falling asleep, fall asleep. But these five users and random person are going to keep you awake. <laughs> Jumping all around. Ooh, emerald or glowing yellow? Okay, that's where that goes. Okay, something I want to point out to all you guys. Um, keep your templates. Don't throw them away once you cut your fur. Because, like, this one really didn't make a lot of sense to me, even though I wrote it and just cut it out. Um, but I can line it up with what I'm looking at right now. And I know exactly where it goes. It goes right there. So, it, stuff like that really helps. Um, so, never throw them away. Until you're done. And then throw them away. Clean your house. Uh, no. Uh, ear left inside. Ear left inside. And that would be for pile up. Okay, I'm thinking maybe you can do something fiery orange that fades into a yellow on top. That would be awesome if you could. Um, I don't know how well I could do it, but heck yeah. I think that would look awesome. Like a, like an emerald green into a like a burning yellow. Oh, that, that actually looks that makes me like raw. Hey, ignore me. Who's messaging me on Facebook? It's probably you know who. Ah. 
<laughs> I like that outfit. I am. Shut up, hit it. Ha 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 ha. Well, I appreciate you saying that to me. I really do. I keep forgetting what side I'm putting everything on, and it's like, ah! I don't know what that is, but it's right here. Oh, hairbrush. Hairbrush! Okay. No random person's leaving me. No. Taping your suit. Hey, bye random person. If you need any help, come back, say hi. I'll be right here. Hey, you know what? One foot forward. Just keep practicing. And no matter what anybody in the world tells you, and this goes for anybody listening to this stream, no matter what anybody tells you, keep practicing and working on improving. Your stuff that you're making is great. Somebody will love it, guaranteed. Especially if it's priced really well. Oh, okay. Hi. Stay in chat. You said later. Um, no, I'm not kicking you out. Hell no. I don't kick anybody out. It's happy chat. Um, but never let anybody get you down. When I first started making fursuits, when I first started making fursuits, I don't know if Sarah remembers seeing my Doberman or my Husky, but these things were a little out there. Um, they were definitely first time maker, but they were well, they, they, they look good. But the feedback that I got in the community, when I, when I posted it out there, there was a lot of makers talking trash. Um, and when I say trash, they were telling me to literally take my fursuit heads, never try again and throw them in the trash. I, I got really offended by that and after I sold uh, sold both heads and the people were very happy with what they got and everything I made sure to get the review copy paste and send it off to those negative people to prove to them that you, no matter what or how hard you try you can get it done you can do the job our first first suit head will never ever ever look great it's just what it is. We're learning. Now, if you got an awesome maker and you know that is like being your senpai. Hi Maddie, welcome to the chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But if you got like a senpai or something, you know, a teacher that's going to teach you how to make fursuits, you're gonna learn a lot of tips and tricks and, and mistakes that they've made. They were jealous. 
They, they, I, I want to use the word jealous. But yeah, you know, they, they, they know this new fursuit maker coming into the market. Oh boy, look at him. You know, whatever. Say love you.